English 5 Quarter 3 Week 5 Milk Base Let's learn about Writing Showing Tactfulness Hello kids, it's me, Teacher Frel. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and hit the notification bell for the latest video. You can also follow my Facebook page, Teacher Frel TV. Welcome back kids! For today's lesson in English 5, we will discuss about writing showing tactfulness. After going through this lesson, you are expected to Number 1. Show tactfulness when communicating with others. 2. Link comments to the remarks of others. And 3. Use appropriate strategies to keep the discussion going. What is tact? Tact is the ability to deliver a difficult message in a way that considers other people's feelings and preserves relationship. It encompasses many things such as emotional intelligence, discretion, compassion, honesty, and courtesy. To develop tact, use the following strategies. First, create the right environment and think before you speak. Second, determine the appropriate time. Third, choose your words carefully. Fourth, watch your body language. And fifth, never react emotionally. How to write a quality comment? As a beginner writer, we really appreciate feedback and comments. However, we would also really enjoy it if you as a reader would follow these simple instructions on how to write a quality comment. First, always capitalize an I when it is standing alone. Second, remember use proper grammar. Third, use correct punctuation. Fourth, give compliments to other people's writing. Fifth, make connection by sharing facts about the topic of their writing. Six, give suggestions on themes or subjects for their writing. Seven, ask questions to keep a conversation going. Eight, don't choose dead words such as things and or stuff. And ninth, use a wide range of vocabulary. Read the example below then notice how the learner shows tactfulness. So the first person is Pedro. You make me so angry. You never finish your work on time. Second person is Juan. I am sorry. I didn't mean to make you angry. Notice how Pedro becomes tactless in showing his emotion. Do you know that there is another way to expressing your emotions? It is in a tactful manner. So here is the second example on how Pedro expresses emotion in a tactful way. Pedro, I feel sad when work is not completed on time because it means I have to wait until I can do my work. Then Juan answered, I apologize for not finishing my work on time. If you were Juan, which manner of expression would you prefer to hear from Pedro? Of course, we prefer the tactful way of expressing ideas which is shown in the second example. And now, do this activity, direction. Read the situation below, then write a tactful discussion regarding the issues given. Here is the situation for letter A. You are the president of the class. It's time for the quarterly character review of your group mates. Today, you will meet with John, one of your classmates. This is what you think of John. 
suffers, he doesn't work well with others. Pupils don't like to work with him. Really, he's mean. Second, he works slowly compared to everyone else. Third, he doesn't check his group chat enough, so he often misses important announcements. Fourth, he says inappropriate things about other members of the group. And fifth, he often brags about his achievements and high grades to his classmates. You can confront him because he is the son of one of the teachers in Kanlurang Mayao Elementary School. But you have to talk to him about these issues today. Please discuss them with him tactfully. Write the dialogue in your notebook about your confrontation showing tactfulness and using appropriate strategies to keep this discussion going. So here is the rubric in writing dialogue. Five points means most of the conversation shows tactfulness and legibly written. Four, some of the conversation shows tactfulness and legibly written. Three, few of the conversation shows tactfulness and not legibly written. Two, most of the do conversation shows tactfulness and not legibly written. And one, no written dialogue. For letter B, the situation is pair work. What are some strategies we can use to make these sentences more tactful? Rewrite them. Number one, your perfume is too strong. How will you rewrite this in a tactful way? The possible answer is, if you have a strong perfume, you can spray just a little. Number two, tell your kid to shut up. The possible answer is, can you please tell your kid to be quiet? Number three, I don't want to waste my time talking with you on the phone anymore. I have more important things to do. So the possible answer is, if you don't mind, I have more important things to accomplish today, so we better talk next time. Number four, I need the report now. The possible answer is, can I have your report now? And number five, this has way too much salt. The possible answer is, it is salty. Maybe next time, just put a little salt. For letter C, choose one issue presented below. State your stand regarding your chosen issue in paragraph form. Number one, global warming is real. Number two, Filipino is kind and hospitable. Number three, cell phones and other gadgets are useful to all kinds of learners. Number four, it is good to have a COVID-19 vaccine. And number five, August should be the opening of the school year. So, choose only one issue presented below, then state your stand in a paragraph form. And here is the rubric in stand writing. For the engagement, read the sentences below, then rephrase them to a statement that will show tactfulness. An example is given for you. Steven, I want to watch how to create videos so I can improve my blogging skills. The possible answer is, Steven, I think improving my vlogging skills would help me get high scores in my performance tests. This is why it's important to watch tutorial videos on making vlogs. For number one, now that the project is finished, let's have a meeting to plan our next step. The possible answer or the example is, First, I'd like to thank everyone for your hard work on the project. We work as a team and we had success as a result. Let's continue our momentum and start thinking about our next step. So create your own answer in a tactful way. For number two, why are you late? You're wasting my time. Here's the possible answer. 
I feel frustrated when you are late because it means we are wasting our time waiting. So create your own answer in a tactful way. And number three, don't wear shorts and sando when having our online class. The possible answer is, you are encouraged to wear uniform during online class so that you will feel like you are inside the classroom. So create your own answer in a tactful way. For assimilation, letter A, write a short essay about your experiences during the COVID-19 pandemic. Use the rubrics below in scoring your work. For letter B, write a paragraph about child labor or child abuse. Show tactfulness in expressing your ideas. Here is the rubric in paragraph writing. 5 means no errors in spelling, legibly written, and clean. 4 means minimal errors. 3. Not legibly written, not clean. 2. Many errors committed, cannot be read. And 1. No written activity. For the assessment, read the conversation in the group chat then complete the statements that show tactfulness. Do this in your notebook. So let us read the conversation of Maria and Anna, then write the possible answer on the blanks. Maria, the possible answer is, Hello, Anna, we have performance tasks in English about making a stand. Blank, help me in doing my work. The possible answer is, Please, please help me in doing my work. It will be a great help. Then Anna, I don't have my performance test yet. So what will be the possible answer? So the possible answer is, But I will help you as soon as I finish my task. Then Maria replied, Okay, I will be waiting until... What will be the possible answer? I will be waiting until you're done. Thank you. Remember, stack is the ability to deliver a difficult message in a way that considers other people's feelings and preserves relationship. It encompasses many things such as emotional intelligence, discretion, compassion, honesty, and courtesy. So kids, do you understand our lessons today? Wow! Good job! Kids, I hope you learn a lot from this lesson. Until our next topic, bye-bye kids! Thanks for watching!